Hi guys, welcome to part 8 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I think it is time for another layout revolution. To be honest, I am not very satisfied of the right side at this point. I will try to modify it once again and I don't know if what I uh, have in mind could work. Let's see. Then, then it is time for another house to be revealed. Maybe the second house from the left side. Maybe the first house from the right side. All the other Lemax buildings, you know, uh, will be added uh, in the next months. Then, then a new technique, a mini technique, a very brief, a very short technique that I have used for my houses, but I haven't shown on camera. And then, and then, and then right now, I don't know. Let's get to work. Stairs and stairs. I will add the four new stairs to the right side of the layout in my intention to modify it. Uh, I made four stairs, two big and two small stairs. Uh, I haven't shown you the process because you have seen me using it many, many times. It is simply a matter of cutting some uh, of my nine millimeter uh, tall a thick uh, styrofoam panel and uh, I made 12 centimeters each time 12 centimeters stairs and this one goes from 23 centimeters almost 23 centimeters long this one is the shortest I can get with this method and it is only 12 centimeters so 12 centimeters per 12 centimeters. It means that it goes nine millimeters deep, nine millimeters up, nine millimeters deep, nine millimeters up, nine millimeters, okay? And it is one to one. This one is almost a two to one because 12 centimeters there, 23 centimeters here. Then I use it as some simple PVA glue to glue them together. So it is the simplest, easiest way to do a stair. But, and let me turn this to black because I will show you something new. I also made those little things there. So I will mix Mm, standard with 3D print and this will be the sides of the stairs and uh, I've uh, added uh, some mini bricks, um, not mini bricks, mini um, stone bricks pattern on top of it and the big one also is this one and the bricks are uh, bigger and you can see that uneven uh, and regular uh, some goes down, some goes up because this will um, help me getting the stairs where I want and also will function as a, a, a handrail. Obviously this is styrofoam, this is extruded styrofoam, I forgot to tell you those are panels of extruded styrofoam, not the cheap one and uh, I will add one side here and the other side from the other side so you have a right and a left and you can see that it is acting like an end rail or so, okay? And uh, this is uh, PLA, this is styrofoam. I don't have a good method of uh, gluing them together because only the 
um, the um, epoxy glue will work um, but it is exaggerated for the purpose I want for this little guy here. So instead I will use some double-sided tape and I will place uh, sorry, it is like that. Okay. One here. Good, the four stairs are done. Let's continue with something else. Guys, you know that the left side of the layout is particular this season, is somehow strange, is articulated, is going up, down, etc. Um, I needed something not to square it. Generally, all the stairs I do, all the stairs I build, are mainly orthogonal, 90 degrees, or linear, getting up from front to back, or along a wall, and or circular, but always against a wall, even if the plaza I made uh, is somehow different, it is anyway something that can access some at 90 degrees even if the stairs are rounded. So I decided to try something I never tried before, something that is somehow we can remember the stairs I made last season, but no. Last season was the big uh, pink stairs was round, uh, alpha circle. Let's forget that. I wanted something as a serpent, as a snake, okay? So something that it is very hard to build with styrofoam. And so I modeled these guys here, 0 to 12 centimeters, and it has a length of 22 centimeters, but it is even longer simply because it's not a straight and it is curved. In reality it goes even deeper. Uh, I modeled this. We I don't know if you can see but the stairs are not regular. Uh, they have uh, some uh, scratches, uh, some one some of the steps are uh, missing some parts etc. They have some grooves, old stair, getting some sort of a snake and accessing a level that it is upstairs, 12 centimeters from um, this level here. <clears throat> right now it still needs to be painted and it is obvious that 
uh, the steps doesn't look extraordinary right now but a simple stair is nothing so I also made a right and a left like that guys I simply more I simply designed I simply drew this profile here this perimeter here you see thumb thumb a curve like this then I've extruded it like this and then cut at 45 degrees it's simply geometry it's not that difficult but achieving this with this kind of curve with styrofoam practically impossible but imagine this as this curve here so this perimeter here out and in then extrude it extrude is like getting the first um, surface this surface here block there and then pulling it <laughs> towards this direction here so it tends to go up uh, if you are interested I can show you it is a simple process but it is a great effect then I cut it everything at 45 degrees like this so the step the steps same thing I made the steps they were like that from here to there then I used this curve here this profile here to cut and then I eliminated this side here and this side here remaining the central part and this one cut it at 45 degrees extremely good effect with a stairs like this something you don't know where you go something come towards me come towards me and it is good I think for the point of view of the left side and then here too I I don't know if you can see I modeled some stone walls okay the side of stones different size uh, going up down as the previous stairs but this is more regular more difficult and guys with the help of a 3d printer and if you know if you manage a good uh, 3d modeling software you can get everything here I use it to modeling software Rhino 3d for the basis for the basics for the regular stairs and the sides and then ZBrush for adding a pattern there for adding the wall because uh, Rhino 3d doesn't get there uh, I simply it's like uh, having a brush that paints stone walls on top of the surface there very 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 good looking result I think okay um, this is almost stable but I need this to get uh, more stable let me try even this with double sided tape I don't know if it will work or if I will go with some super glue instead maybe it's better if I go with some super glue
like this some minutes and it will get done instead of revealing the second house for the left side of the layout I decided to show you the first house of the right side of the layout obviously I will not simply use my houses for the entire layout I will mix my houses and the houses and the Lemax collection slash Limax collection the left side is more articulated the houses from the left side are more articulated um, the right side I decided to go more Victorian, more Dickens village, more uh, standard a Christmas carol buildings, pure, I think, between East Coast US and um, yes, East Coast and uh, Europe mix it together but pure design and almost every house from the right side will have a similar architecture not identical architecture but similar so let's get there it is a huge house guys this is the front and hope you can see so bow window first level second level third level and fourth level this is a mansion this is a huge house and I modeled this as more classic it can can be the chimney uh, a patio from the back side okay and then here some balcony for the first and for the entry level there and then a balcony there getting two sides of the house with one door there with another door there you aren't seeing anything with one entry door there another entry door there here okay and the main door is here balcony so uh, a room there another room here and this is bow window pure victorian style as i use it as you have seen with rebecca's house and with the first uh, house i revealed the last uh, last week uh, in part seven windows uh, some more squared and those one are oval uh, windows and here is where I will get the power in and get everything illuminated so each level has an LED inside the same way uh, you have seen me adding to Rebecca's house and I use it this same technique color it is intended uh, to be like this they are all intense colors um, not I could have gone with bricks with maroon bricks everywhere and just having these light yellow like I did but instead and this is metal roof as the first houses from for from uh, Victorian era modern houses and this is Victorian era but modern house so wood completely wood except for the roof um, everything else is uh, wood and it is supposed to be wood <laughs> obviously it is plastic because I 3d printed it uh, I went with a different design with this one uh, the, the blue part 
I printed the blue part in just one piece and it took an enormity. And inside it is completely empty. Then I modeled uh, the roofs, the support of the roof, the chimney, and then the balconies to add uh, there, then painted. And this will be part of one of the team at section, but it will get um, it won't be a separated uh, section. Uh, something will happen <laughs> with this house at some point <laughs> during this season, and I think that these will be some sort of common house because it is huge guys uh, one room two room three room four room five six seven eight a dozen of rooms inside here uh, so this is the architecture the design of good parts of the models of the houses from the right side more classical more dickens more victorian instead of completely madness as you have seen me with rebecca's house and with the first house of the rest of the houses okay but this is a pure design a pure victorian design guys uh, two chimneys guys okay one and two chimneys okay um what else now guys please look at the windows they are reflecting lights like real windows okay this is because i used some transparent uh, very thin plastic and then i also added some curtains because adding glass but then having those giant windows sometimes uh, letting you see from ins the, the inside that is empty, no. But I wanted to add some curtain. And it is uh, very simple and I don't know why I haven't shown you before. This is the transparent plastic, okay? Uh, this is uh, plastic that you can find in some office depots. It is used to, and it was used to, uh, as a cover for your prospectus, for your relations uh, that you print and then you propose to someone. Very, very thin. Uh, if you cut let's say if you cut two centimeters let's say let's say three centimeters okay from here and three centimeters there and then I will cut three centimeters. Let's say this is the height of the window or the entry door, etc. And you don't want to have a glass that big, but you have to, you want to simulate some curtain. If you use some some mask tape and mask tapes can get uh, this one is 1.9 centimeters this one is 2.5 centimeters if you place the mask tape that is not completely opaque but it is somehow transparent uh, in Italy and in Europe is more common the white 
I know that in the US and other parts the mask tape, uh, mask, masking tape is common to be blue or other colors but you can find also uh, the white one or if you want um, a blue curtain you can go and you simply need not to cover completely the three centimeters of the of the of the plastic but uh, three centimeters this is 2.5 centimeters the mask tape is 2.5 centimeters let's say like that then you will remove the excess and let's say I have a window of uh, three, no, two centimeters, like that, like that. So here I left, uh, in this case, a part there, the tip there that he has no mask tape it will be the part of the window with light coming in outside and you can see through and this will be the curtain you simply need to glue it to the inside of the building with some super glue uh, having in mind not to glue the mask tape but to glue the opposite side, the opposite face, the one with no mask tape, simply because a super glue on top of mask tape make a mess. Here you can glue and you can see that it is not opaque but transparent and believe me uh, it makes a difference let me try to switch this on like this and then voila 3 volts and right now it's uh, you, you can't appreciate it because uh, it's not in plain dark, but the light is visible from uh, and inside and without having a pure nude window with some uh, glass. And this was the mini technique, the quick mini technique to simulate some curtain. You can choose the color of mask tape you want, but um, co um, colored ones tend to be less transparent so it tends to be not a real curtain but uh, a screen against light curtain even in real life uh, let pass some lights okay they are not completely uh, opaque uh, that's it
final recap of part 8 of the 2024 season and I am starting from this corner here guys last time uh, you have seen me completing this section here with some stairs, a double stairs here a mini hill there, another slope here with a mini hill and then here I was up until there so I added some more styrofoam there and 12 more centimeters here and this is the effect of the stairs getting up 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 until we reach this level here and you will have some more things buildings and others i think this will be an entire section okay so uh, here you will um you will climb up these stairs or the other ones this one to access this house here and the micro scene that will be there and here i will have another house in this corner here then a micro scene here uh, some other buildings there some vegetation or another building there then another part of the left layout with minimum two uh, two stairs uh, um, two houses sorry there and these houses haven't changed a bit since last time there and so this will be the layout for this part and this is the effect of the uh, curved stairs that I fixed um, the two sides with some uh, uh, super glue and it get there uh, this is uh, I've used uh, some super glue adapted to 3d printings okay to object to 3d printed objects let's say like that and this is the walls the um, the stone wall from a closer look different for from what you have seen and during the explanation on the camera and the stairs with all the scratches the gaps the ruined even from this point of view let's imagine you have this point of view climbing up and you see the damaged uh, steps these uh, serpent stairs these uh, snake stairs and uh, needs to be ancient more ancient than everything else and that is the effect uh, it seems nothing but uh, it has take uh, some hours to model it then uh, let's go towards the other side where you will find the new house the new house for the uh, right side uh, that I have it fully explaining in detail while uh, while I was in the other room guys and uh, from every angle this is a huge house compared to some of the um, of the Lemax buildings but this is intended to be this huge uh, 10 12 people living in there I also added those four more centimeters because I needed to get to the same level here of the of the of the lay of the river then the stairs guys and off camera I add added this long section here with a passage there uh, as always with the with the gothic arc to pass through intended for people obviously but also from little carts or carriages etc they get through there all is in scale and uh, while uh, I was filming this, uh, this part here, the ending part here, the Belvedere parts, don't forget people that in front here, as this is the debouchet for the river, you have uh, a sea, an ocean in front. So this is a Belvedere uh, watching point, uh, watching point there. Obviously, I will need to add the, mm, the, balust the, the fences or balusters there and this part here this end part here was just at the beginning here you have seen it on camera at the same level of the stairs i i thought it was too 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 reducted okay too to reduce it in length like this is from the top view is like having a big uh, a big stick to take all this section up with everything is there it uh, 
add some power to the section uh, follow me follow me follow me follow me follow me follow me then climb down or climb up but when you climb up ba bam you get this uh, i needed those 12 more centimeters i've elevated uh, uh, yeah i've elevated sorry everything of 12 centimeters because these section here with the platform with the plaza with the whatever you want need to be in plain middle of if possible of the eight of the other levels it was too low at simply 12 centimeters and maybe it is still too low because i intention to climb even up up there in the back there obviously i <laughs> i need some place uh, to have uh, Santa's a Santa's section up there so I need to climb up 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 like an, I never did before guys and these will help me those stairs are a variation of the twin stairs you have seen me using but instead of having the stairs climbing from one those are front they are fronting I need some more uh, addition there to prevent people from falling down some fences here here I, I can add some park benches and everything and here also this is 20 centimeters wide I can add a building or something more like a Belvedere with plenty of life maybe attractions and this is good elevated like this this is the elegant part of the uh, of the village of the city where everything will take place uh, for now i placed uh, uh, the first uh, uh, the first uh, team section there but i will surely not leave it there and then uh, here i thought uh, mm, because guys let's talk seriously it is plenty of stairs to get people tired of getting to the ballroom but not no access at all for carriages for example for um, for transport that have wheels so instead of having here in this corner some stairs climbing those 12 more centimeters maybe i will add a slope getting this corner like this and then getting up until up 12 centimeters there and then turning and getting also the other slope here getting access here i don't know if i can do it like i want but i will try to do it because uh, carriages need to uh, get at least a sledge carriages need to be at least at to arrive at this at this level here but it is for a later time i know i haven't made much progress for this part eight but i miss a bunch of important stuff or important materials that due to uh, some uh, some shops that are closed during august in italy Yes, uh, Amazon never closed, but they are. I know some particular uh, shops that sell online, but they that are closed during August that still need to reopen after uh, holidays, after uh, summer holidays. So uh, I took some uh, some late time. I I am in late, okay, guys, but uh, I've been forced to do that and this is the architecture i want and guys please comment if this is not a pure victorian style that it is different from what you have seen me using with these houses there that it is yes victorian but imported from ancient times from gothic times for from uh, 1600 up to 1700 up to 1800 modified houses from uh, gothic time etc this is pure modern uh, victorian house not modified but invented built and there new perfectly new for the victorian type uh, on the other houses from this right side will be a little shorter 
and a little less wide but they will have almost the same architecture so please tell me what you think of this addition here and also the passage passage there but from an eight guys i assure you that these i can took everything ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, and climb it up okay it gi gives power i have the stick of power of the of the um, of this side here of the elegant side in my hands the stick of uh, speaking of uh stick of power one one of the things i'm missing is the stuff the magic stuff that i want to be flashing for rebecca's but i had to order some very tiny and when you will see them you will understand some very tiny microscopic led from germany because it they were mm, I, I couldn't find them in italy uh, or even on amazon so i needed to order them on uh, a particular shop that is specialized in um, in uh, train modeling from germany and i assure you that the tradition of uh, uh, train models in europe cannot be beaten by anyone except for the german shops the german shops are the best in europe for a train modeling they have plenty of things guys there is a little uh, things there hide it that i will remove one piece of paper i will remove two pieces of paper i will remove three pieces of paper then i will take a step back then i will get ta -da, these guys rebecca's house painted guys it was time i'm hearing you let me do a closer look then i will take rebecca's house in front uh, for for now and i will explain and look guys now i can take it in one piece and put it there guys obviously i needed to have the roof the same color as the roof there because it is the left section i consider the river be, be, being the delimitation between the right and the left section and these needed to be like that let me have a quick turn around you can see that i have the uh, colored bricks the colored stone story blue and yellowish stones as the bridge there and as the other houses for the for these uh, side here okay those are smaller stone uh, stone uh, bricks but i added to continue the only gold you will have is the gold on the circular section there on the um, on the tower on the mini tower and on the little four columns on top of the entry door and also on the entry door guys because even the entry door has to be a little goldish the rest is gray for the stone section three layers of different uh, grays uh, here you have the plug for the uh, for the powering of the led inside even the chimneys have the same pattern with uh, yellowish and bluish here also and then water nature and fire fire because uh, for me the tower represented the power of the house of rebecca's house then i used the some terracotta but it is uh, very light terracotta as these walls were the fingers let me explain the fingers that are applied on the roof and that manage the magic on rebecca's house so i wanted something having almost the same color as the skin but to be um to be some 
fingers, some big fingers acting on Rebecca's house. Then I know I'm missing the wind, but the wind has unfortunately no color, but there is always Rebecca with the air in, with the wind in the in her hairs so like that and it is in scale with the other Lemax buildings guys uh, maybe I will take it where I have more light guys but it is almost the same I think no, uh, you can't appreciate the real color right now because I have not switched on all the lights I generally use when I'm filming the uh, final uh, video of my village. And then, oh yes, I forgot also some gold points here on the bow window. And guys, you have seen me using the new technique for the curtains and not all the windows, but uh, some windows have also the glass because it reflects the lights as you can let me let me try something dangerous uh, in front of some lights uh, get me lights guys they reflect the lights as you can probably see and they have uh, uh, and I added the curtains on the main windows to uh, get uh, some privacy to 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 Rebecca okay guys and uh, two shades of brown for the food uh, this is more maroonish there and then this is more wood and then the supports are maroonish uh, brown maroonish etc the chalk blue for the roof and everything else I've explained. Once again, this is Rebecca's house. Let me place it once again. Oops, I think every time I move this, I don't want to make a mess, but like this, Rebecca's house there, guys, with uh, the tree that still need. Also, I'm missing uh, the flock edge for completing the the tree, but it, it, I have a bunch of things arriving from Barcelona. Uh, guys, don't forget to take a look to America, America's Cup if you like sailing, because, wow, guys, in Barcelona. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of, uh, out of my league now, but I love also the America's Cup, and I'm actually watching also the America's Cup. Let's, that said, uh, I have a bunch of materials for doing my trees coming from Barcelona. Foliage, flockage, uh, some new type of spray glue that will help me instead of using the glue I have used for uh, that tree in there. So I still need plenty of things, the stuff that will be leaning against the, the, the big old tree. I don't know, Rebecca, what you think about Rebecca's house? Up to you to, to tell me and also to, other, to all the others. And that's all for the final recap of this part eight. Sorry if I hadn't make, made uh, too much things, but just remember it took me only five hours to paint and assemble uh, the, the house, Rebecca's house. Five, one, two, three, four, five hours to finish that, that house there that one six hours all the houses take me between five and six hours to complete once they have uh, they are printed and primed painting assembling co controlling detailing a huge amount of time that only four and a half hours but it is less complicated to paint the house like that it's really old guys see you for the outro no mac unfortunately not you will not see any boats any wharf any docks for this 2024 season 
if and you are on the Belvedere. That is what I could do for this part 8, keeping in mind that I was uh, lacking almost 10 of the most important things to continue with the rest of the layout. And this will certainly not be the last layout revolution, you know me, but I think it is a good improvement. And guys, here I can place some buildings, okay? And here you have the space, the passage for the carriages, for the slates, uh, and everything else. A building there, another building from the other side, small buildings, small things, because this is a Belvedere, I don't want anything to be covered. But like this, I think it will give more importance to this top level here. For the right side, it will be the top level, but in the middle, I will climb up some more. And I still need to find all the spaces for uh, the uh, first uh, um, teammate section and all the other section. I have in mind maybe to modify and not have a complete uh, section for the others team at the sections, sorry, but uh, to integrate them in the layout somehow. This is not a purely integrated, it is a standing team at the section. But at least three of the others can be integrated in the in all the layout. But the the second that will not be the second because I will postpone it into maybe late September or October. Uh, it will be a huge section, but a real huge section. But <laughs> let's not anticipate the times. And I don't know, maybe I'm getting uh, uh, nowhere with the, this layout made of up and down, up and down. But I don't know, up to you to comment. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my very, no, bearing, sorry guys. You know that my English is so bad. Thank you for bearing my awful English and see you for part nine, only if you can bear another time my awful English. Bye guys.